Welcome to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. What was it like the last time you took a train? Was it fast? Was it comfortable? Was it clean? Whatever it was like, it was nothing like the trains we're going to take today. So buckle up, because we're going to go on a ride with Hexa Trains. Now this game is very interesting because you have to kind of connect different industries and we might even get to the moon. So first of all, big thank you to the developer for giving me a key to this game. Now this game comes out on the 7th of October, but I was lucky enough to get a pre-release version, so that's what we're going to play. So there will be some changes by the time this is fully released. So first thing I'm going to show you is to customize a planet and then we're starting the game. So we can pick the size, we can have large, jumbo, medium, we're going to go with large, a random variant, then we can have land hue and sea hue. You want to make sure that you make your seas blue, because I've learned that if I have my seas other than blue, I get super confused. And we can have land, blue, orange, purple, tea. Let's go with orange, for example. And let's go. And we shall start a new game. All right, so this is our beautiful planet. Now, first we have to help you. Let me just click at F1 to get rid of it. Now, our goal is to produce, to connect different industries to what they need and then produce a lot of stuff. If you can see that currently we're not making anything. To help us out with that, we can sort of see which train we are currently on station and depot, which currently we are nothing. But if I click on this, it says depot two, and we can see which trains have moved from there and stuff like that. So what are a couple things you can make? You can make food, you can make, um, goods and metal and lumber and stuff like that so you want to click on some of these for example here's a sawmill that produces lumber or here we have a copper mine which makes copper but these are all just things that make stuff i want to find something that also needs something to to create stuff so and we have another we have a, actually we have a both coal and copper mine which is quite nice so this is a warehouse warehouse takes lumber and metal and produces goods goods are then brought into the city where they are consumed now, if you want to know, okay, so you might think, okay, so I want to make a warehouse. So what do I need to do? So I need the lumber. So where is the lumber? Well, you can sort of hover over this and it will show you where's the closest lumber. So we can, for example, see that we have some lumber right here. So we can use that to make goods. Alternatively, we could make goods using metal. So again, you can hover over this and it will tell you there's a, there's a metal making thing somewhere very far here, which is this. So that's a very far, but we could make lumber. So let's start with that. We're going to go back to our warehouse right here and then we can connect it to this city and bring it there. So we're going to grab this little lumber mill and we're going to connect it. Now you have two ways you can place tracks. You can place it either with uh, the mouse or you can place it using arrow keys. I'm going to be using the arrow keys because I prefer that. It just feels easier to me. And we're going to connect it back up. You, you always need to make a loop. Uh, sorry. Like that. And we shall connect it back to our... Okay, so we're gonna have to go around this. This is a university. This is a university. So we want to make sure that we have a kind of space for that so we can click on that later. So we are now have this. Now, we cannot actually send any trains because we are not connected to any depot. So we need to find a depot. The closest depot is here, which is actually kind of far, but what can you do? So before we do that, let me first create a connection between this warehouse and, for example, this uh, city. And then we can connect that to the depot. So we're going to go from the city to the smelter. No, like that and then here we're gonna connect this way and go and we could potentially go to the other one to the other city as well but we're probably not gonna be producing enough for that and then from here we can just go to the depot and then we'll go just like straight this way and then from the depot we need to connect that way as well like this now we yeah so this is going to go like straight through back here and in there so now we got to send our trains so we're going to create a new train and we're going to send it from the lumber mill to the warehouse and we'll tell it to go now immediately create a second train that's going to go from the warehouse to these two cities and we'll tell it to go now you can follow the trains which i think is super cool so we can click on train one and we can click f 
and then we're gonna follow it and we can watch it wow did you see that fall that's insane oh my god that is amazing i feel so bad for the people on this train or for the driver because he's taking goods but like imagine you have a train full of lumber and you have to take the dive down oh my god the trains are very smart in taking the right route so it always takes the, uh, the fastest now what if i wanted to create a second train for example for the lumber and the warehouse so the way this works is that the warehouse uh, actually the first time around the train zero zero goes through it's not going to bring anything and once it goes through once the this this sort of smelter a warehouse is going to figure out okay i have a path i have a connection and the lumber mill is going to do okay i can bring somebody my lumber so the summer is going to start making lumber and the more often trains go to the sawmill the more stuff it's going to make so an obvious thing is okay let's just grab a new train i'm going to say hey go to the sawmill and go to the smelter go right well there's going to be a little bit of a problem and the problem is because we don't have many traffic lights they will actually be stuck waiting we're gonna have to drop yeah i love the drop it's going to the train too is going to wait here until this one gets to the station because it can get through so that's not good so we have to create sort of like alternative paths like so to create a couple more sort of traffic lights to allow these to you know so that they don't have to wait so much so i think that's pretty cool so you can i think this should probably be enough you could yeah yeah that's enough we probably don't need any more you can also sort of cheat into the traffic lights like this but you don't actually connect it fully so it gives you traffic lights anyway but i think it looks kind of weird so i prefer to sort of connect it up so just they can take either one of these paths however they want so the more often the trains go to the warehouse the more often uh, the more lumber it has and um the faster it's going to produce so for that you have this information kind of on the right uh the the s is uh so p is the production rate of units in time and s is the service level from zero to hundred percent so right now it's at seven percent so clearly it can go a lot faster so we are producing our first goods and then we're going to bring them to the city now it says passengers but right at the moment the passengers are not implemented so that will clearly be changed by the time the game fully releases but right so but we can bring the goods into the here and then produce them okay so now we're going to start another production and that's the production that goes to the moon <laughs> because i love that you can go to the moon in the game so let me just find it because it's not so easy to find okay so we have this this is our spaceport so if we get food to the spaceport, it's going to take the rocket and move it to the moon give the food to the people on the moon and then they can work there and then give me moon crystals so where would, could we get food that is my question Ooh, food is really far i mean i guess we gotta do it so the closest food is here where can you get grain oh my god this is gonna be actually you can get grain from did it say from here that's really really far is there another space for it i don't think so let me just quickly check we only have one yeah just spaceport 35 okay so where was the food again all over here so this is our food okay well we'll take the bakery and we'll do it you shall not complain we'll do it so we'll go to the bakery like so Go, go, go. This is a very strange track. But it's better than the drop. Like, I, I love the drop. Like, I could complain about the drop, but I kind of love it. Because it's just, it's just so much fun. The drop. It's how we test the new drivers. Like, if you can drive to the drop, you can drive anywhere. But if you can drive to the drop, well, then you're dead. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty rough job interview. It's like, either you got it, or you don't got it and you never get anything in your life ever again all right so this is how we bring the food to the spaceport but we've got no food yet so we gotta get some food so the closest screen we could either go take this spot further that way or there's some green i think this green is probably well actually it's equal no this is closer so we'll go with this one come on come on farm no give me what i need you to give me that was a too soon of a... Now go straight. I could connect it onto this spot, but it just doesn't seem like that would be worth it. 
Oh, we're going in. Okay, well, these... So we have to go in the same way. So we're gonna have to go like that. And connect into that. Yeah, and then you can just go straight through and out. Oh yeah, this is very cool. Well, the drops are right. Why can't I just take the route with the food? No, you gotta go to the drop first. And then... Well, actually, there's kind of a drop here too, but this is kind of like a gentle drop. That one's like the drop drop. Okay, where's my closest depot? Closest depot is here. That's actually pretty cool. So, um... Let's create a connection. Like so. No, one more. Go, go, go. No, I thought it was the other way. Okay, my, my mistake. I, every time, every time I go to the depot, I go the wrong way. I don't know why. It's just like... Like that. And then you just sort of turn around. Oh, we have to go in. Okay. Well, then we'll turn around here. Go, 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 go. And then do a beautiful turn like that. So, we want a new train that's going to go from the beautiful farm to an even better Bakery 26. Off you go. Yeah, so, sorry, I misclicked that. Go. Now, I would definitely want more of these, so I'm going to create like a connection here that will kind of allow me to get a couple more trains. You go that way. Yeah, I think in the middle is fine. I don't think we need any more. Well, actually, maybe, maybe over here. Another one. And we're immediately just going to go with the next train that's going to do the exact same thing. From the farm to the bakery. Go. Go, 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 go. Now that we did that... I am going to create a second train that's going to go from the bakery to this spaceport. And then the spaceport to fly. I'm definitely going to be watching the spaceport, so I want you guys to see it with me. So let's just zoom in a little bit and watch this. Watch our little train for. So we can click on the bakery and we can see that currently it says it has zero it says it has zero connection, but it's going to soon see the connection that we have. And uh this is the newest train? This is train 5? No, that's train 3. Uh, train 5 is where? Are you train 5? Yeah, we gotta watch out for the train 5 because we don't want to miss when the rocket goes off. Because that's... I love it. I love it when the rocket is just it's such a good thing. So train 5 currently has nothing in it just yet because it's only driving. It's just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I need to drive to figure it out. And then once it gets there, then the, then the, the baker is gonna be like, okay, somebody's gonna bring me stuff. Also, Baker, are getting some food, Bakery? Not quite yet, but this train has already has some cargo, so it's gonna bring 200 food and Bakery can make stuff. And tra then Train 5 can carry it through. Actually, Train 5 is already gonna have stuff. I would follow Train 5. Actually, we could follow it now. But then we want to stop pulling in as soon as the, the, the spaceship goes, because spaceship's so good. But can you grab some stuff? Yes, you can grab 12 food, which is honestly not much, but it's better than nothing. Come on, Train 5. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, but then we're gonna zoom out once we get close to there. Love it. Hello, train. Hello. Nice to see you. How was your audition? It was rough. I nearly fell. <gasps> everything. Okay, and now, now the moment has come. My favorite part of the game. We shall look at this. Look at this flying, and it's going straight at me. Okay, come on, come on, rocket. Isn't it a beautiful rocket? And we're gonna fly to the moon. And I could be the first woman in space. Actually, no, the first woman in space is Valentina Tereshkova. Which I think is kind of cool. Do you see the train on the thing? I never realized it when I watched it in my in my test play. Oh, but now I can sort of watch it fly over to the moon. There's a little train there on the rocket. So we're not we don't just take the cargo. No, we take the driver, because like you deserve it. You handled the drop, and therefore I shall take you to the moon. This is how Neil Armstrong should have gone to the moon on a train. Told you this would be better than any train ride you ever had. Because we are going on a moon. They're super beautiful trains. So now we're on a moon, as you see the planet has changed. And we're gonna watch it. And it's going to drop here into Moon Base 6. And Moon Base 6 has a depot! This is fantastic. So every time we get food, it's gonna bring you now from the moon. You would like moon crystals, which you then bring to our university at home. 
can be studied then. So how do we do that? Well, first we gotta connect this to our beautiful, beautiful depot. Which is honestly looks the same as on Earth, because like you don't wanna pay new architects for moon. We just use the same ones. Sorry. Nope. Like that. So that's great, but obviously we need food. So we're gonna bring food to this beautiful moon lab, which needs food and moon rock to make stuff. So let me go in there. No, that was a mistake. I meant to go like that. Go, 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 go. Actually, we could go... Which way do we want to go? I mean, I think we want to go this way. Go, go. Like... Wait. Oh, I need to go like this and like that. And then goes back in perfect so we can grab the first train that's going to be going from here to that it's not gonna do anything right now because actually sorry uh, yeah it's gonna bring the food to the moon lab but the moon lab is not gonna be producing any more i love that you can look an earth in the back but move all of this away and we could just like look at earth over there and we can see we can see our train tracks from space because they're so big and beautiful i love it love it all right but now we need to bring okay let me let me put this back so we can actually see stuff we oh it's just so good the view i love the view and the train misplace that a little bit but that's okay like this so we need to create a moon rock. We get moon rock over here. So we need to create a connection that will go like so. Yeah, go straight there, like this. And then we'll go back, because why not? Like that. So let me create a new train in the depot. And you're going to take the train from here to the quarry. Off we go. I think one is probably enough. It's not exactly a big or long ride. I think it should be good. If you want to follow him, I think you might want to follow him. Just zoom in and watch it. Beautiful. And we can go into the moon lab and then drive off to get my moon rock. I've zoomed out a little bit. Before, there was another quarry here that we could have used, but I'm okay with the one we have. So the quarry is working. Okay, so now, once this gets back, this should slowly be getting the moon crystal. Because the same train is bringing the food there, it can take the moon crystal back. So as soon as this moon lab realizes, okay, I'm getting my moon rock, I'm getting my food, I can make some moon crystals, and then we're going to bring them over back to our beautiful spaceport. Yeah, the trains are getting stuck there a little bit, that's fine. Oh, look at the rock, look at the rocket. Rocket's coming down. The rocket's coming. Okay, we've made some moon crystal, but I don't think this train has any yet. No, it doesn't have any yet. It's got the food, but it doesn't have any moon crystal to bring back just yet. So we gotta wait. Train zero, come on. And the trains are calculated from zero again on moon because we're on the moon. Love it. Looks so good. Gotta try to take the train back too. The drivers are not allowed to leave. The trains on my, on the moon because like you're not astronauts you didn't learn how to do this you're just gonna stay in your train okay <laughs> and the train is your lane okay let's go back to earth because now that we have made everything work on the moon we now need to bring the moon crystal once we get it here and we gotta bring it to university so where is the university it's right here that's not exactly right here it's like Oh, it's on the other half of the earth. It's like, come on. It's just, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering, like, how did they come up with They were like, yeah, let's build the university in, in, I don't know, in Australia. Okay, that's a great idea. Okay, so where would you like to build the rockets? Should we do it in Australia too? Oh, no, do it in the middle of Europe. Like, great planning. Like, fantastic planning. Like, let's just spread it out in the world and give all the money to the training company, to the train company, sorry. Okay, so we gotta create a connection, because... Um, okay, which way... We wanna go... I don't know if I can go straight through these guys. Oh, I can. 
Okay, so these guys don't have a drop, they have a... a ray, ray, I guess. Okay, go straight through. Where is my, where is my thingy thingy? There. Okay, so it's actually straight. Like, let's just go straight through the whole world. No problem. <laughs> By straight, I mean very cur weird and curvy line. <laughs> ah, this is just funny. Okay, where is the entrance? Oh, this is actually great. The entrance is right here. Like that. And then we'll go back out. Back out. We're probably gonna drive this, ride this one, because I'm curious. Come on. It's only 200 more miles. And when the driver wants to take a break, he's like in a completely different country, he doesn't even know the language. He's just like, like, oh, how long have you been working? Well, around a month, because it takes a long time to take over the whole world, <laughs> to ride over the whole world. Oh, how long do you have? Well, another month. Oh, I understand, man. I understand. Do you? No, but I did the drop audition. Okay, then. that tracks. No, that was wrong. Uh, like this? Is there another? Oh, there is another. Oh, look at that drop. Well, I mean, it's a little bit softer, but it's a higher drop. So, I mean, we, we, we gotta watch those trains. Um, do, where, where is my train depot? There. Do we want to take it from this train depot? I think we might. It's not connected, but I could make it connect. Like so. Okay. So, we'll grab this train depot. And we'll say, hey, your job is to go from here to right there. Now I should have taken it from the other depot because, no, there's a drop here too. And we'll go. And I'm going to watch this train simply for the drops. Give me some drops, guys. It's going to take a while because, <laughs> look at that. That was a great drop too. We have so many drops. This is the best drop. This is my favorite. Oh, this is the biggest one too. <laughs> it's just it's so insane. <laughs> but I mean, this is the land of drops. It's like, it's just what we do. Why are we waiting? Okay, it's fine. So we're now gonna go through upwards. A little bit of a drop, but nothing too crazy. Should we zoom in? I think we zoom in a bit more. Let's just, let's just watch it up close. We're gonna be completely close. Just watch it. We're just driving to the moon space station, driving, driving all day long. Okay, that's all singing. I can't sing, so this is just, this is the singing you get. For those of you who can't sing, and, I, and because I don't have a music hearing for the, oh, look at the drop, look at the drop, drop, bass drop. I can't do a bass drop either. Okay, this is this is my best, you know, singing thing. I don't have a, a um. Oh, it's wrong. Be wrong. Good. I thought that was like in the opposite direction, but it doesn't let you do that. Okay, so uh, the university doesn't have any moon crystal yet because yeah, we didn't get that. Okay, but what I was saying is I don't have musical hearing, so uh, yeah, I, I when I hear people singing, I'm like, oh, that's great. And someone who actually has musical hearing is like, no, that's horrible. And then the other way around. So you know, so I might sing well or badly. I don't know, but I don't have the hearing to to tell. You know, so just like. Hmm. Just how it goes. Oh, look at that. Look at that long fall. Just like beam into the university. And, and there, there's a there's a turn too. So not only are you going straight down, you're also going straight down and then turning. So you just cannot see a thing. These drivers are like the best drivers in the whole world. Which kind of tricks because they're driving stuff to the university from the, you know, space uh, depot for the rocket. So like obviously they're the best in the world. They also get a pretty high money for, for, for a train driver. It's just like it's one of the top top in the world it's just like yeah it's just still worse than a um, regular pay job for most people and yes yeah, so i love these drops so much okay are you gonna grab some cargo no why not yes 200 cargo 200 cargo and it's not even going any slower it's just like i've got no problems okay but we did that and i think it's also time to end the episode so this is hexa trains if you enjoyed it, you can play it yourself from the 7th of October and you can click on the right top to watch. Let's just keep watching while I talk to you. You can click on the right top to watch My Train Arise, which is another game with trains, or you can click on the right bottom to watch Railed, which is sort of like a puzzle game with train tracks. I'll see you in one of those. Bye bye!